in this question, we have the rectangle BDEF. And so we don't only know the side length for BF, we also know that DE is equal to BF, which is equal to A. We also know that BD is equal to EF and is equal to C. Furthermore, we know that all the angles, all the interior angles of the rectangle are 90 degrees. And that the sides BD and EF are parallel. Because C lies on the extension of BD, it follows that these two lines are parallel and the angle DCE and FEA are equal because they're corresponding angles at parallel lines. We also know that this angle is 90 degrees because together they add up to 180 degrees as they are angles on a straight line. And similarly, this angle is 90 degrees. The triangles AFE and EDC are therefore similar because they share all three angles. We've shown explicitly that two of them are equal and the third one simply completes them so that the angle sum is 180 degrees. In particular, we actually know in what way the, the sides and the angles in these similar triangles correspond to one another, with AF being mapped onto ED, FE being mapped onto DC, and EA being mapped onto CE. Therefore, we know that the ratios of corresponding sides in the triangles will be equal. We therefore know that AF over FE, which is X over C, is equal to A over Y, because that's ED over DC. Alternatively, we can rewrite this in terms of product by multiplying through by Y and C, there's no problem here. These are side length and are therefore positive, not zero. And this will prove useful for both parts of the question. In part A, we're told all the numbers except x and have to work out the value of the unknown x. Using our previously derived equation, we can rearrange it for x simply by dividing both sides of the equation by y. Again, remember y has to be positive, so we don't need to worry about y being zero here. Now we simply substitute the values we're provided with So we have 12 divided by 3, which is 4, which is the answer to the first part of the question. In the second part of the question, we're told that the area of the rectangle we previously looked at is 9 centimetres squared. The area of the rectangle is simply calculated by multiplying together the side length A and C. So we actually know that these two products not only equal one another, but equal nine, bearing in mind that all the values here are in centimetres. We're also told that the side lengths are integers and therefore we need to be looking at factors of the number nine, positive factors to be specific because they're side length and therefore have to be positive. The positive factors of nine are one, three and nine. And they have to be suitably paired up so that x times y is 9. So it could be 1 times 9, 3 times 3, or 9 times 1. And ditto for a and c. Let's work out what the possibilities are so that we can establish the side length we're interested in. The condition we previously showed, x, y equals a, c, 
holds for all of the possibilities as we've systematically gone through the possible integers, positive integers because they're length, that multiply together to give 9 for both AC and XY. And indeed all these constructions will work because for all of them this equation will hold. We know that x, y have to be integers based on the setup of the question where we know that a and c are integers but also the side length of the original triangle are integers and we calculate x and y simply by taking the difference between the side length of the triangles and the side length of the rectangle. BC, based on the original diagram, is simply given by the sum of C and Y. So we can complete the final column of this table by adding together the entries in these two columns. We get 18, 10, 12, 10 again, 2, 4, 12, 4, and 6. So while it would have been easy to come up with the possible values for BC simply by considering the possible values of C and Y, by looking at it in this table layout, we have shown that indeed all these possible values of BC really do lead to a valid construction in the original diagram. The correct answer therefore is 2, 4, 6, 10, 12 or 18 are the possible values for BC.